Good evening, everyone. This is Miss Kendra speaking from first grade. Yesterday, April 27th, 2020, first grade had a Zoom session where we did lots of experiments. Uh, within those experiments, we used water. We used water um, with plants such as llama beans and celery. We also looked um, at water shape. Does it have a shape? We talked about what is water. Today, I want to talk about water a little more. Water can change its states or kinds of matter. It can be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. And today, first grade, you all watched a video by the title, States of Matter for Kids. Today, I am going to read, what is a liquid? And in this book, it will inform you on what a liquid, solid, and what a gas, gas is. As I read um, this informational um, text, um, I want to show you all um, an experiment. I'm just going to do a little intro um, so you all can try at home. What is a liquid? Things are made of matter. All things are made of matter. A matter is anything that takes up space. There are three kinds of matter. A liquid is a kind of matter. A liquid does not have its own shape. A liquid takes the shape of its container. And this is something like we did yesterday um, within those experiments with water. Water is a liquid. It flows. Paint is a liquid. It drips. Juice is a liquid. You can pour it. Heating a liquid can change it. Heating can change a liquid into a gas. So heat changes a liquid and it changes to a gas. Water becomes steam. This is steam. Cooling a liquid can change it. Cooling can change a liquid into a solid. It looks like in this photo that they're cooling water in an ice tray by placing it in a freezer and a freezer is a place that's really cold will keep things cold water freezes into ice look around what liquids do you see now in this photo i see different types of liquids i see some type of um drink or juice in a glass cup, I see dishwashing liquid, I see hand soap, I also see water coming out of the faucet. I also see a yellow cup back there and maybe some type of um, juice or water in that cup. And who knows, there might be some water here for the plant that's in the window. Now, I want to run, um, read some fun facts about liquids. Fun facts. When some liquids are mixed together, they make a new liquid. Chocolate milk is one example. For example, if you have white milk and you have chocolate syrup, that makes chocolate milk. Those are two types of liquids. Some liquids do not make a new liquid when they are mixed together. Oil and water stay will stay separate in a jar. Liquids can be thick or thin. Thick liquids like honey and syrup flow slowly. Thin liquids like water and juice flow quickly. Evaporation happens when a liquid dries up. The liquid changes to a gas and become part of the air. So just like when that water was on the stove or the water 
or that tea or coffee was in that teacup, we saw steam going up into the air. That's That was called in gas. But when it goes up and up and up and you don't see it anymore, it has evaporated into the air. On some mornings, everything outside is covered with drops of water. These drops are called dew. Form, dew forms when the water is in, in the air, cools and changes from a gas into a liquid. So the water that evaporated that went up into the air when it cools it goes back down to the ground and it forms to a liquid and that's called dew on cold mornings on some cool mornings on very cold days dew freezes it becomes a solid called frost and most of the time we see that when the seasons change like fall to winter so now I want to show you a little experiment that you can try at home. You'll need a cup, a spoon, and you'll need an ice cube. And here I have an ice cube here. The first thing I want you all to do is to hold. I'm going to push back my materials right now because I'm not using them. And you also need a flat surface like a table or a countertop. I want you to hold your ice cube in your hands for 10 seconds. I've been holding it for about four seconds now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Then I want you to place it on the table or your flat surface. Ask yourself, or I want you to answer these questions. What do you notice about your hands? Look at my hands. And after you do this, I want you to know what do you notice about your hands? How does it feel? Right now, my hands feel a certain type of way. But I want you to tell me how your hands feel. What happened? to it while it was in your hands? What happened to the ice cube while it was in your hands? What did you notice about the ice? What do you notice about the ice? And what do you notice about it on the table or your flat surface? What do you notice? And then after you tell me what do you notice, tell me why do you think that happened? Why do you think this happened? And then I want you to grab your spoon that you had as one of your materials. And I want you to see if you can pick up your spoon, your ice cube using a spoon. Is it possible? Can you do it? Seems like I can't do it. Maybe you can. So I want you to try. Right now I can't do it. After you figure it out if you can play if you can pick up the spoon, I mean pick up the ice cube with your spoon, I want you to place your ice cube into a cup. And I want you to pour water in it. Does your ice cube look the same as it did before? And then I want you to leave it in your cup for a couple of hours and then look at it again. Has it changed? How did it change? And if you're in first grade, you may have this as a, um, a discussion on schoology. And I want you to try, so I want you to try this experiment at home with an, um, a parent or an, adult, or an adult. And I want you to Observe what happens to your ice cube. Tell me what happens and why the things happen.